Yeah, we were here uh, yesterday at around uh, three o'clock and uh, doing some phot photographing. And this uh, stream, this is the Rio Puerco, uh, was in its was in the stream bed. But sometime after three o'clock yesterday, it has flooded this entire area, which is totally amazing. Never seen this kind of flow out of this uh, out of this stream bed ever. There's a thousand acre uh, lake uh, below us uh, where this uh, runs into the Rio Grande. This, this thing is just totally unbelievable. And uh, the uh, USGS is this coral emergency management uh, here that's uh, checking on uh, some sinkholes that have developed here in the in the uh, uh, bridge and the USGS folks, I think these are USGS folks, are measuring the uh, stream flow and these were actually the, the guys that were here yesterday, I think they were in one of the photographs that I took, they're checking the, uh, the stream flow and uh, we're gonna uh, never ever has this that I'm aware of been out of the, in the last 30 years, been out of the stream bed like this thing is. So. And, uh, this is a different, uh, a different shot, of course. There's the, my lovely assistant, uh, Marie, uh, who's uh, head of emergency management at my home. And here are the uh, score emergency management, uh, the folks there in black and then the orange. Uh, orange uh, blazer but uh, the bridge all of a sudden uh, sometime today developed a huge sinkhole which is you can see where there's a patch uh, down there at the other end of this but I suspect this is the kind of flood water that washed the town of San Marcial San Marcial away in about 1922 actually it was the same time of year that that uh, happened and uh, just a tremendous amount of water running through this thing. It's nice to see this thing run. Hey, I've never seen it run. Have you ever seen it run like this? I seen it a long, long time ago. It had a little trickle. Yeah, yeah a little trickle is right. Uh, that was like 10 years ago. Yeah, wow. But never. And then before that, yeah. when I was a kid, like 16, 17. Uh-huh. It was really rad. Yeah, but it didn't run this much. This is amazing. Yeah, there's a big old. There's a, see where they filled it in over there? There's a huge sinkhole. They, formed, they filled it in this morning. I'm surprised this bridge is still here. We drove across it last night. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah, we came and looked at it last night. It's did lower you? than what it was. Well, you know what? Oh, really? Well, yeah, we were here yesterday lower. about three. It was in this innocent bank. Yeah. I, or it might have even been yeah. later than three because we were doing yeah. some photography. We came last night and it was all these little trees right here yeah. uh -huh. underwater. Oh, really? This is the results of the uh, Rio Puerco overflowing its banks. Evidently, uh, there's an access to the Rio Grande River just east of here that's been blocked uh, and it's flooded, uh, actually flooded this highway, uh, and Highway 60 to Mountain Air, and it's flooded. We were here, across here yesterday too. There was not a drop of water uh, in this area, and there, I see the sheriff and the emergency management folks are are here and then of course the railroad uh, runs through here and they've shut down uh, the railroad uh, their tracks are were partially underwater earlier so I guess I don't blame them for uh, shutting this shutting this down so uh, this is kind of the long and short of that but an interesting flood and lots happening the uh, the railroad is, I don't know what they're going to do about this, nothing I guess. Uh, the, prob the problem with this is it, uh, it gets the, uh, the, re the railroad bed uh, fill wet and a train rolling over those tracks can collapse it. And it looks like to me that down there that uh, that may have happened already. Let's see if we can zoom in on this. And uh, it looks like an area down there that the track uh, has uh, uh, caved in, so I suspect that's what's happened. The reason they they closed it. So, anyway. 